Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually gonna do a makeup tutorial because my skin has gone insane from like 16 hours a day of shoot. And so I still have to shoot and I still have to go out. So how do I cover it up? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you today. So if you suffer from dark circles or you have a bruise too, well, I'm gonna show you how to cover that up. And the secret is actually not foundation, not any powder, but a bronzer. So let's get into it and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it for a natural day look. Yes, it's going to be a little bit of a heavier makeup and you know me, I don't really love to wear makeup, but obviously I don't have a choice right now. So um, it's going to be a bit heavy, but it's going to look as natural as possible. Like my face is done right now, but we're going to rewind and I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So first of all, you want to start by cleaning your face. So I use a water spray and just wipe off the excess dirt. Then I use a primer and I just pat it on my face just to give that extra moisture. If you have dry skin, then use a moisturizer and a primer. If you have oily skin, then you can just stick to a primer, but everyone should use the sunscreen. Next up, put some lip balm on your lips just to keep them moist. So when you eventually put the lipstick on or your lip gloss, your lips are nice and soft and moist. All right, let's get on to the base. Now, usually you'd think I'd need a concealer or powder or anything to cover all of what is happening, but actually I'm using this NARS product, which is so amazing. It's called the Multiple, and it is actually a bronzer for your cheeks, like a highlighter, and I'm using it under my eyes. It has an orange tone, so it's really good to cover up dark circles or bruising or whatever. So use that under your eyes. And then I take a brush to get into the corners of my eyes because, you know, the bronzer doesn't reach there. After that, I use this amazing Tarte that I bought in America. It's Under Eye Corrector, which it is definitely doing. It's in a medium tan for my skin color. So I take um, the same brush that I used for the bronzer and I use that to dab. And then I take an angular brush to get into the corners again. You have to dab it because you're covering. Now, obviously there's a lot of glossiness going on in the face and a lot of shine. So I take the white powder and then I just um, puff it under my eyes with a beautiful fan brush. So I use that to kind of just get rid of the shine and um, glossiness and make it a little more matte and natural. So after that, um, now I have to cover my forehead. So I go into using my NARS and I have um, medium for Barcelona. And um, I just use the same brush that I did for under my eyes. I use it on my forehead and I just put little dots everywhere. And then I use this really scary looking brush from Kiko again. It's a number five. It's actually a really great foundation brush. So again, you can kind of use this on your face using circular motion, but again, you don't want to blend it too much because you want it to cover. After that, then I use my Studio Fix's NC40 and my benefit is uh, number three. It's called Get Even Blot Away Shine and Discoloration. I mix them together with my blender brush from MAC and I just blend it all over my face. After you blend it really good, and remember you have to match your neck with your face, so use the blender brush on your neck as well because you don't want to go out looking like only your face is one color and the rest of your body is another. Um, the next step, any kind of setting spray for your makeup, just spray it all over your face and then get a puff and just pat your face down. Do you know, that just makes everything look settled and natural and beautiful. Just to give your cheeks a little bit of sweetness, I've added um, NARS, it's called Amour, and I just used my beautiful Too Faced brush, and I just dab it on. So a lot of people stroke their blush, but I, I'm a dabber. And then take your puff again and just dab it over so it blends in. Then I take my Shuamura eyelash curler just to lift the eyes um, up a bit because you've got a beautiful base now. It looks really natural. So just curl your eyelashes up. Now this mascara honestly is the best mascara you'll ever use in your life. But use a mascara that you love so then it just um, lets all the makeup come together. And my eyebrow gel is Benefit uh, Bravo Conditioning Primer. How can we forget a nice nude lip gloss? I'm using, well, I'm trying to choose between the Kylie lip kit. It's B-U-X-O-M. It's Hot Toddy. 
is the color. I love it. Yeah, there, you're good to go. Let your hair out and go enjoy your life. No one will ever know that you had anything on your skin. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot and took all the notes and tips. You can get started and try it out and tell me what you think. Don't forget to comment below. Give me likes if you like it. Don't do those because I don't really like those. No, I'm just kidding. And also tell me what else you want to see on my channel because I am back just like I promised even though it's like a hundred years later. And of course, don't forget to follow me on my uh, Insta, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time on Diva on Duty. I'm Anusha. Bye!